So there is not a chance in hell I thought I'd be making this video, ladies and gentlemen. Without a doubt in my mind, I thought the Miami Heat were washed. I thought they were done. I thought it was it was over. I thought the Celtics had it in four or five, but they proved me wrong once again. Those of you that watch me consistently know this, but for anyone that's new, yes, I'm a Celtics fan. Get your clowning out the way. Yeah, make your comments, whatever. Honestly, I can't be mad. I really can't. The Miami Heat are on the best playoff run ever in the history of professional sports. We have never seen anything like this. It is unreal. I'm definitely not going to sit here and make excuses for the Boston Celtics because at the end of the day, the Celtics beat themselves in this series 100%. Throughout this playoff run, we have seen the tale of two coaches. Last year with Ime Udoka, it, it felt like that was the year. Like, this was it. Oh my god, it's obvious Celtics are going to win. But this year, with Joe Missoula, new head coach, 34 years old, it was just headache after headache. And I can't can't blame Joe 100%. Everyone's blaming Joe Missoula. I can't blame him 100%. Yes, he makes questionable decisions, but it's not all his fault. If I had to pick his biggest flaw, and this is the reason they lost to Miami, it is definitely the reason they lost to Miami, no doubt in my mind, is Joe Missoula loves drop coverage. And for those of you that don't know, when you run drop coverage in basketball, what is the risk you take? Leaving three-point shooters open. What does Miami consistently rely on? Shooting the three-point shot. Miami is horrible in the paint. They have a lot of consistent three-point shooters. So Celtics run drop coverage. They leave three-point shooters open. He get the shots they want. They win every time, basically. So Celtics made a lot of mistakes. A lot of turnovers. Just sloppy basketball all around. And it's just, they really, honestly, didn't deserve to be there. The Heat have defied every odd, every obstacle in their way. And you just gotta be proud of what they're accomplishing. Also, the most embarrassing thing for the Boston Celtics in that series, you allowed Caleb Martin, who was a nobody outside the Eastern Conference Finals, nothing but a role player, score 19 points a game. In the rest of the playoffs, he scored 10 points a game. In the regular season, he scored 9 points a game. You literally let Caleb Martin double his points per game average. Shout out to Caleb Martin for turning into Michael Jordan, and I honestly thought he should have gotten the Conference Finals MVP, but... The NBA didn't think so. So you allow that to happen. Then you allow a nobody, I'm sorry, I gotta say it, a nobody like Gabe Vincent get 29 in a game. I low-key forgot he existed, to be honest. And I'm a pretty heavy hoops fan, y'all. Y'all know. But yeah, Celtics sold. When it took him six games to beat Atlanta, I knew it was gonna be a problem the whole entire way. Six games to beat Atlanta, seven games to beat Philly. I thought Miami would be a walk in the park, but it wasn't. Miami defied the odds again, and they're just doing great things. You can't be mad. But unfortunately for the Miami Heat, they have run out of miracles. Y'all saw the title, and I am sticking with that. They beat Milwaukee great. Milwaukee is a good team. They're not a great team. They're a good team. Milwaukee is not a deep team by any means, so that hurt them for sure. And Milwaukee is also a horrible, horrible perimeter defense team, 100%. That's the reason they lost in five games, because they just could not stop Jimmy Butler and the role players on the Miami. You just couldn't do it. The Knicks are a solid team, too, but the Knicks, same thing, cannot defend the perimeter. Celtics struggle to defend the perimeter as well because of stupid drop coverage, like I was saying. But now the Heat have hit a brick wall. The Denver Nuggets are a great perimeter defensive team. You take the three ball away from the Miami Heat. They don't win a game in this series. They don't. Not to mention the Heat have a lack of size. Jokic has been on a tear, as we know. And who is in the way of Jokic? Bam. Bam Adebayo is the most inconsistent center in the game of basketball. And I have to say that. I have to, have to, have to say that. Bam can get 25 one night and three the next night. That's just how he is. Bam can still get your rebounds, but he's he, he ain't clamping Jokic. It's not going to happen. I just don't see it. Jokic is just going crazy. And if y'all won't believe me, think about this. They swept the Lakers, right? Jokic tore up Anthony Davis. You got two of the top three centers in basketball going at it in a series and Jokic ate him a lot. Never mind Bam Adebayo. Bam Adebayo has fallen down the center list for me. Definitely down the tier list for centers and I just don't see Bam Adebayo putting the clamps on Jokic. I don't see Bam Adebayo outscoring Jokic in a single game. So we know Jokic is going to do Jokic things. Jamal Murray is going to do Jamal Murray things and it's just... It's wraps. The Heat role players will not show up in this series because the Celtics, like I said, ran horrible, horrible defense and just allowed the Heat role players just to be the players they were aspired to be. The only thing I can count on the NBA Finals is Jimmy is going to be Jimmy. Jimmy is going to have a great playoff run no matter how many games it is, probably four or five games. I'm saying Nuggets in five. I think the Heat will grab a game, but that's me being generous with y'all, seriously. 